Here we are. Happy Saturday. Doing a little bit of a stamp concrete today at a really cool house. Beautiful place. Really we'll fine detail work. Uh, what we're going to do here, start off, going to mix up some of our fancy dancy powdered bentonite. So I keep mine in a little tub like this. It's about $15 for a 50 pound sack of this stuff. And I'm going to put in about three measuring cups worth of powder here. Something like about like that. And all I'm going to do to mix it here is agitate it with my water. Something like this. And I'll probably get this bucket about three quarters full, half of three quarters. Ultimately ending up with a pancake batter type consistency by the time this is all mixed. I always mix this at the start of the job before I start setting my hoses up because sometimes it has to sit for a while with the water to reach its uh, ultimate consistency. If you just throw it in the bucket and add water right away, sometimes it doesn't mix up quick enough. It needs, it needs a little bit of time to do its thing. Similar to using like a slick pack product almost. So I'll just do a little bit of agitation here with water pressure. La dee da. Most important thing with this stuff is don't let it get in the pore area. It'll uh, it'll remain in a mud-like state forever. So if you uh, don't dispose of it responsibly out the end of the hose, uh, you could end up with a, uh, a nasty back charge. So <laughs> aside from that, uh, that's kind of the, the Achilles heel of this product. You just have to be really careful with it. Um, as far as priming effectiveness, uh, this is by far the uh, the best thing I've ever used. And we've, we've tried most everything out there so so go with this right now that's a little bit thin actually um i'll let it sit over time because it will it will thicken up maybe i'll put a little bit extra powder in this just to be safe i don't like it too thin or it'll get a segregation plug it better to be a little bit on the thick side rather than on the thin side it's a little more powder and a little squirt here and I'm going to start laying some hose out here. Come back and check in when this right, is here ready. we go. Ian's got the uh, bent night. Do a little demo here with the shovel. Give her a little stir with the shovel, buddy. To display the optimal consistency of the bent night. What do you think? Perfect or what? Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, cool. Now we're just going to toss it in the elbow here. Throw a reducer on. Tilt it over. Not so far as such to spill the bend tonight out. Connect everything up and we'll rock it through in one go here. Look at this bartender. Oh. Look at that, that's a nice. Oh. Okay, how you doing? Let's be a couple seconds. Uh, probably about a uh, four inch slump, four or four and a half. Uh, I think in the back, yeah. Yep. All right, button this up, connect it up, and we'll uh, catch you on the prime here. When I prime, I start with my volume at zero, turn the pump on and forward, increase the volume ever so slightly, until I find that happy speed, and I think we're about there. And I'll put my auger in the proper direction until I should do that. Fix it. Okay, here we go. Okay. Uh, normally I would catch the stuff in the buckets, but Ian says we have room on the ground to spread it. So we're just going to spread the bent night on the ground. Two and a half inch hose today. Normally we would use two inch line, but this is not a regular supplier. So uh, given that we don't work with them that much, I just used two and a half just to be on the safe side. I don't have any problems, so... I just slowed it down a little bit. It was getting a little bit crunchy in the hose back there. So just slow it down a little bit here. Here we go. I don't know if I like this hose on this stair tread. I'm going to stop here and I'll kick it over. There we go. 
and we will reconvene priming, recommence, I should say. Where do you want to spread it, buddy? Just right there? You got enough length on the hose to get rid of all that? Okay, you better grab it quick. She's coming. Ian, maybe put it put it there just so it, no, I stopped it. Put it over here just so it doesn't run back into the pour area. We'll just spread it right there. Probably gonna get about two or three strokes here before we get regular uncontaminated concrete. A couple more strokes. We'll check back in on this stuff before we leave here in a few hours, and it's still going to be exactly like that. It will never harden. Roger, do you like bentonite in your finished concrete? Oh, the ele elephant goo. Yeah, elephant goo. <laughs> we got to walk down here. So we to put it right there. We're good. We got good concrete now. Anyhow, that'll be it for today. Thanks again for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Something like that. Over and out.